All right, Nick, let's talk about the Colorado Buffs, a team that you think of when you think of the Buffs is great quarterback play, offensive weapons, and guy like Travis Hunter. But there's one thing in particular, a sneaky upgrade that the Buffs have made this year that I don't think enough people are talking about. I'm Andrew, and this is Saturday Morning Inspection. Nick, as I alluded to, there was a sneaky upgrade that Colorado made this year that's paying off big dividends. I think it's a large part of why this is a team coming in to be some major contenders in the Big 12 title race. Let's get into the article and we can talk more about this on the other side. This, of course, is from over on ESPN. It says, when Deion Sanders needed a new defensive coordinator back in January, he looked to the NFL and leaned on peers he trusts. Ten months later, it's not hard to be impressed by what Robert Livingston is achieving in Boulder. Under his leadership, the Buffaloes have one of the college football's most improved defenses. Just look at their stop rate. Last year, national champ Michigan finished number one with a stop rate of 81.6% in its games against FBS uh, opponents. The top 25 teams in the final 2023 stop rate standings won a total of 249 games with seven earning conference titles. Just showing you how important this stat is. Great teams find a way to get stops in critical situations. The numbers weren't pretty for the Buffs in year one of the Coach Prime era. They allowed 40 or more points at five games and gave up 6.3 yards per play, 115th in FBS, and finished with a stop rate of 57.8. This is the key part here. They ranked 97th nationally last year. This year, though, a completely different story. The 6-2 and two Buffs rank 19th in this week's updated stop ratings and 72.7% stop rate. I think that is absolutely phenomenal by Buffs. As I said, big reason why they are contenders in that Big 12 title race. This defense has sneakily been upgraded, and it really is the new engine of this Colorado Buffs team. Nick, I'm curious what your thoughts are on all of this, but before we get to you, Buffs fans, in the comment section below, We're talking defense. We know who the MVP of the offensive side of the ball is. Well, probably two. So I'm going to go ahead and take one easy defensive name out, and that's Travis Hunter. Let us know who is your like most improved like MVP on the defensive side of the ball. I think there's a lot of guys that have come in and done really great job. I think there's a lot of guys stepping up from last year as well. So let us know outside of Travis Hunter who is your defensive MVP so far into the season for the Buffs. Let us know in the comment section below. But nonetheless, Nick, what do you think about this news for the Buffs? Well, look, I think it's an indication that Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, pulled off one of the more underrated moves of the offseason, bringing in Livingston to be their defensive coordinator. He's done an outstanding job. And just the improvement we're seeing, I think it's really indicative of, one, the culture, one, the talent upgrade, the great hire in Livingston, but just everything that goes with building a quality program. And I'm going to keep hitting this forever. Coach Prime gets a lot of just attacks on him for being the media guy that he is, getting a lot of attention. He can say some things that rubs people the wrong way. A lot of times they don't like it because he's honestly right but the reality is what coach prime doesn't get enough credit for it is the quality program building he's done already at colorado this was a program that was a dumpster fire a couple years ago he's come in and made them a ranked team they were ranked early last season before the struggles down the stretch and now they are ranked much better this year and a big reason why they have consistent staying power is because of that defensive improvement and this is quality program building, right? You talk about improvement, right? It would have been one thing if Shadir Sanders and Travis Hunter this season were just putting up crazy numbers and they're winning every game like 52 to 49. And they were, you know, they were six and two. And it was like, okay, they're really not getting better. They're just relying on Shadir and Travis Hunter to go out there and go crazy. That's not sustainable. But the reality is they're becoming a more complete team. Offensive line is a little bit better, right? Still far from perfect. I will admit that, right? Long way to go, but they're better. Defense across the board, all three levels is a lot better. In fact, even the the other Sanders, he's getting a lot of criticism for how he's been playing. The defensive structure around him has actually been pretty solid. So again, we're talking about a program that's being built here. This isn't just a couple stars. This isn't a social media entity like everyone criticized Sanders that he was building for Colorado. He is building a legitimate, long-lasting program with quality coaching, Quality transfers, quality recruits, quality player development, people getting better week in and week out, buying into the culture, buying into the system. If any other program, and and I like Nebraska, I like Matt Rule. If Nebraska and Matt Rule right now were 6-2 and and they were ranked in the top 25, 
a lot of people would be singing their praises. We would be, right? We try and be straight shooters on the show. Matt Rule, Nebraska, even with Dylan Raiola, they got a great quarterback just like Colorado. They're struggling a lot, right? They're having some issues. Right now, Colorado is going the other direction, even though Nebraska beat the brakes off them early. And that's what I'm talking about. Program building. One week does not define you. You get better week in and week out. Your next performance is your best performance. You're continually building on yourself, building depth, getting better. Coach Prime has done an incredible job. And this statistic right here is just an evidence of just a fantastic effort across the board by this coaching staff. Yeah, Nick, and I think there's one part in this article, kind of a comment by a player that I really love about what Coach Livingston did when he came in here, and I think it's a huge part of why this defense is so good. You look at uh, Cameron Simon Craig, he came in as safety for Colorado, and he talked about Coach Livingston when he came in, he didn't have a playbook. He didn't say, this is the playbook we're going to do. He came in and he said, what do you do well as players? We're going to come in and we're going to work around that. And he says that he gives Coach Livingston all the credit. He was able to get the players to go out and execute day in and day out on what they did best. And quite honestly, at any level of the world, whether it's your daily job, you know, whether it's, you know, highest level of college football, uh, you know, anything. If you have an employer, if you have a boss, if you have a coach that comes in and say, hey, what is your best attribute? I'm going to get you to come into the team, whether you know, you're know you really good at paperwork, whether you're good at you know, day-to-day tasks, whether you're good at whatever. In football, on defense, are you good at rushing the passer? Are you good in run defense? Are you good in coverage? Are you a good playmaker? Should we just let you roam and be a good playmaker? I think that is really a key to success in this day and age of college football defense. So a good big credit to Coach Livingston coming in doing something a little bit unorthodox. Some coaches come in, try to shove their philosophy, their scheme down your throat. It seems like he came in and said, hey, I want to play to your strength. And the players really responded to it. And we're seeing the results on the field for Colorado.